Hey guys, Crypto Dad here again, and today I'm going to show you how to purchase pancake swap tokens on crypto.com, and then I'll show you how to move them over to the pancake swap website so you can stake and farm them. So let's get started. All right, so you can purchase cake on crypto.com. So I'm just gonna launch my crypto.com app. I'll go over to accounts here and you'll see there that I already have some pancake swap tokens, but let me show you how to purchase them. Uh, if you go over to the home button and just hit that trade button at the top and then choose buy, you've got a list of all the tokens that you can purchase. Now, Pancake Swap is near the top for me because I already have some, so you might need to scroll down a little bit to get to it. But if you choose Cake, you have the option of purchasing it outright. Now, there are three different ways you can do this. The first is credit or debit card, which is the default. You can go over to your crypto wallet and trade for it if you have other cryptocurrencies. Uh, and then you can also use the fiat wallet, which you fund from your bank account. That takes a couple of days, so I'm just going to show you the easiest, quickest way, the credit card or debit card method. So you can see there that I've got my debit card uh, connected to my Crypto.com account. I'm just going to hit Buy Cake. The default there is $150 worth of cake. I'll go ahead and buy that. I'll tap there that I've acknowledged the fee. I'm going to go ahead and hit Continue here. All right, and then I'll just confirm that. And there we go, I purchased some cake. All right, now I can go over to my accounts again, and you can see that I've got some pancake swap in my wallet. Now what we wanna do is transfer this into a compatible wallet so that we can connect on the pancake swap website to trade, stake, and farm. So I'm gonna show you how to get your wallet set up. Now I like to use Chrome and MetaMask. So I'm just gonna launch my MetaMask wallet get myself logged in. Okay, now you'll see here that I've got a uh, wallet set up. I've named it PancakeSwap. You can name your wallets anything you want, but if you look to the top here, you'll see something a little different than what you might normally see in your MetaMask wallet. If you switch the networks up at the top, normally you're gonna be on the Ethereum network. This is what you would normally see. And as you can see, I've got some Ethereum-based assets. Now, PancakeSwap is on the Binance Smart Chain. It's a completely different blockchain than the Ethereum blockchain. So you need to be very careful how you transfer assets into this wallet. But don't worry, I'm gonna show you how it goes. Pretty simple. First thing you'll need to do is get that Binance Smart Chain network set up in your MetaMask. So you'll just click on this account icon, go down to settings, and then down to networks. And then what you're gonna do is add a new network you can name it anything you want, but you're gonna to wanna to put in the Binance Smart Chain settings. I'm gonna put a link down in the description below so that you know what the settings are. If we go over to mine, you can see there, there's the uh, web address for the uh, URL. Uh, there's the chain ID, 56, and the currency symbol is BNB. BNB is the driving token for a Binance Smart Chain based wallet. It's used to pay trading fees and transfer fees. So you'll need some BNB in your wallet. And then uh, there's the address for the Binance Smart Chain Explorer, all right? All right, once we've got that all set up, we're gonna switch over to that Binance Smart Chain network, and we're gonna get ready to put some cake tokens in here. All right, so I should let you know that I started recording this video back in April when a pancake swap first became available on crypto.com. And at that time, I discovered that it was uh, non-transferable. You were unable to deposit and withdraw it. But I just noticed this morning that it is available uh, for withdrawal. So I went ahead and I'm going to just tack that on to my previous video. So it'll, it'll be obvious uh, that the price of cake has changed and that I have more cake now. right? But I uh, just wanted to give you a heads up on that. So we had talked about earlier getting the wallet set up in MetaMask. So, but what we would like to do would be to transfer the cake that we purchased in crypto.com into this wallet. And really all we need is this address here of this wallet. Now uh, for crypto.com, you can scan 
the QR code. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click these three dots here and go to account details so that I can see the QR code for this wallet. In fact, why don't we go full screen? Yeah, let's go ahead and go full screen with uh, the MetaMask wallet. All right, and I'm going to go one more time to uh, account details and get the that QR code there. Now, if we go back over to accounts, you'll notice that the pancake swap says BSC after it, which indicates that it is the Binance Smart Chain network. And uh, that was the first difference I noticed when I looked at my portfolio this morning. So let's transfer this cake into the wallet. Now notice there that the transfer button is active, right? So we'll tap that and we'll say we want to withdraw and to an external wallet. So what I need to do for my cake is to add a wallet address. I need to whitelist a wallet address. So I'm going to tap that little plus there where it says add wallet address. Now it says pancake swap Binance Smart Chain address. I'll tap that little QR code there on my phone and then I'll just lift it up and scan this QR code. All right, now notice that it has the word Ethereum in front of it. Uh, it should not, right? Uh, basically, we're going to need to uh, just tap there and uh, erase that Ethereum and just put that raw address in there, All right? And I'm going to call this one uh, BSC main. So I'll remember it. I'll hit continue here. And then I need to put in my QR code from my Google Authenticator. So I'll tap that code there at the top. That's my crypto.com code. I'll slide back over here and then I'll tap and paste. And then they're going to send me an email. I don't usually like to click that little blue email link down at the bottom because it might not launch the right email. There's my Gmail and open up my email here and then I'll hit confirm withdrawal address and then I'll choose open. And that should relaunch the crypto.com app and there we go. Now I've got the address in there and I'm going to withdraw cake. Now I'm going to, even though I am 99% confident of this address, I'm going to demonstrate a small withdrawal first. I get a lot of people that are asking me questions and sending me emails about transfers that they have made where they have lost crypto because they did something wrong. They sent it to the wrong type of address or they sent it to an exchange without the memo or all kinds of things where they've lost huge amounts of money simply because they did not test the transaction with a small amount. If you always try a small amount first and it fails, then you've only lost that small amount. I can't tell you the number of people that have told me they lost, you know, hundreds, thousands of dollars because they transferred their entire balance on that first try, not really being sure of themselves. And now they're stuck, right? So we're going to demo that small test transfer first. We'll hit withdraw cake. But instead of withdrawing it all, I'm just going to withdraw some of it. But, uh, there might be a minimum, so let's see what's going to happen. Oh, let's do cake. Let's do three cake and see if that's enough, right? That's $35 worth of cake at the moment. Let's hit withdraw, see what they say. They're okay with that, right? So I'm not risking that much cake, so let's hit confirm. We're going to need our two-factor authentication one more time. Let's go back over to Google Authenticator, tap that code, slide back over here to crypto.com, paste, and hit continue. All right, and there my cake withdrawal has been confirmed. I can tap anywhere to continue. You can see that the amount of cake went down and that I've got my email alert that I have requested a withdrawal. Now, the withdrawal will not be complete until I get a confirmation of the withdrawal, which uh, we'll see how long that takes. Usually it doesn't take too long. All right. But and we can go over to the wallet and sort of monitor what's going on. So I can get rid of this here. Also scroll down here to where I had the cake. You see, there's the cake. So we're just going to wait and see how long it takes for the cake 
to go up by 2.99. We can also look at the silver and pancake swap actually. Uh, make sure that it's connected to the right wallet. Oh, it is. Okay. Uh, we can click here and just kind of scroll down to cake. Hey, there it is. Okay, so the cake did come in already. Let's take a look at it over in MetaMask. Let's refresh again. And there it is. I got 3.748 cake now. So that 2.99 cake did go into the wallet. I haven't gotten the alert from Crypto.com telling me that the uh, withdrawal is confirmed. But if you can see it in your wallet, then you know that it got moved properly. The addresses were right. You used the right kind of wallet. And uh, I am fully confident now I can go ahead and withdraw the rest of it. Right? So uh, let's just go back to our phone. All right, uh, over there to Pancake Swap, I'll tap that, and then I'll hit Transfer once again. I'll tap Withdrawal. I'll tap External Wallet, and I've already got the wallet whitelisted. All I need to do is tap Withdraw Cake. Under the Withdrawal button there, it says Max Cake. I'll tap that. I'll tap Withdrawal again, and then I'll hit Confirm, and off it goes. And then I just need to authorize that again with my two-factor authentication. It is almost expired. I'm just going to let it uh, time out and generate a fresh one to give myself plenty of time for this. All right, so I'll tap the code there. Slide back over to Crypto.com. I'll tap and paste. Oh, and there I got the confirmation that the withdrawal was successful of the three. Right, came through. So all in all, it didn't take very long at all. There's another request that I've made to withdraw the rest of my cake. I'll tap anywhere to continue. My cake goes to zero, right? I get the email confirmation that I've requested the withdrawal. And now we can go back over and wait in the wallet for more cake to arrive. We're still sitting at 3.7. So we can check in the MetaMask wallet, or we can check over in PancakeSwap. Right there, the cake uh, upped immediately in uh, the PancakeSwap. I can go back over to MetaMask, do another refresh, scroll down to where my cake is, and there it is. I got the, the 30 cake now. So there we go. I uh, showed you how to buy a little cake on Crypto.com, easy peasy. Uh, shows you how to withdraw to a Binance Smart Chain based wallet. Uh, and now that it's in the wallet, I could uh, easily trade with it if I wanted to. So if uh, I switch to Cake here, I could trade it for BNB if I wanted to, or uh, Binance US Dollar if I wanted to. All right? Or I could simply hold the cake and put it to work for me uh, in a uh, liquidity pool or a staking pool. Uh, and that's really one of the greatest things about Cake. Uh, I just got my alert from Crypto.com that my withdrawal is complete of the 30 Cake, the remainder of the balance. So uh, we're good to go. So if you have any questions about anything I did, please throw them up in the comments and I'll do my best to get them answered. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate it. When you subscribe, there's a little bell that you can click that will allow you to be alerted whenever I post new content. Once again, thanks for joining me and hope to see you again soon.